What's up, world? I'm Mikey Nice. Cameraman here, yup, yup. What's up? And we are Headroom, space between your ears. No doubt, with so a, nice, going on, a nice Sunday smoke session. Nice Sunday smoke Legit. Smokes. Backwards. First time, <laughs> second time I ever rolled it backwards, so we'll see what's up. Shout out to Terrell, you smoke them shits all the Shout time. Shout out to Terrell. No doubt. So what's been going on, cameraman? Chilling, man. You Fuck know, it's funny, know. right? Terrell, that reminds me. Like, Terrell is a nice name, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a, 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 like an ethnic name. I don't know wh where he's from. You know what I mean? But um, I remember my he's friend basic. Rashim. What's up, Rashim? He was from, uh, I think Rashim's family was from, I don't know, somewhere in Africa, Nigeria, something like that. So, you know, that's cool, right? But then, then you meet somebody named like Taijima, and you're like, no. No, you made that You're up. You're just like, making that up. You're just yeah, taking a fucking... Like, hi, Taijima, and this is my brother, like, Dotelame. Dotelame. With an accent, you know what I mean? Dotelame. And, like, like, and I'm not trying to be racist because white people do the same shit. How? But they, but they do it different. They're like, this is my son, Button. But this is my oh daughter, my Eyelash. Say hello to my son, Sunshine. Blanket. You know? oh, exactly. No, that was Michael Jack. Well, he was, <laughs> trying to be, he was trying to... The kid's white. You know what I'm saying? But there should be a thing. I almost think that... If there should be a thing in the in the in the hospital, right, where they're like, "Why? What's the baby's name?" And you're like, "Button." No, you don't get the baby. Sorry. <laughs> you got no, to yeah, no, exactly. No, has to be the certain criteria in order to fucking. You know, the telame. No, the, sorry. With an accent? No, definitely not. No, sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. You know, I don't know. That's funny to me. I think they, they should definitely set some kind of criteria because some names are just ridiculous. Man. It's true. And then they and then named after fucking and we do it in the Spanish culture too, Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But that's Mercedes. Mercedes. That's a real thing though, right? I don't know what that means, if that means something in Spanish, but it's definitely the name of a town in Spain, isn't it? I don't know. Hey Google, what does Mercedes mean? On the website behindthename.com, they say means mercies from the Spanish title of the Virgin. Oh, okay. Mary oh, okay. So that's more understandable. Okay, hold on a second. Mercies. Hold on. It is ultimately from the Latin word mercies, meaning wages, reward, which in vulgar Latin acquired the meaning favor, pity. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, Google. What does the name Dotelame mean? Here's a summary from the website turbofuture.com. LMAO is what Yeah, so it's telling us the definition of LMAO. Messaging, chatting, so maybe Google computer. would be the... <laughs> if, once the world is taken over by robots... Hey, Google, stop. Once the world stop. is taken over by robots mm -hmm. and the robots are going to control the population, because that's obviously what's going to happen. Um, the That's what's going to happen. Google's going to be like, what do you want to name the baby? And they'll be like, Mercedes. Okay, they'll let that baby live. And they'll be like, okay, what do you want to name the baby? Don't tell on me. And if, they, if it doesn't recognize, that baby doesn't does get it, to be. Does, exactly. It doesn't get to be. I'm sorry. So that that's probably the way. That's what's going to happen in the future, I think. Mm. I'll have, a, have like a like the Wu-Tang Clan random name generator. The Wu-Tang name. <laughs> right. I wonder what my name is. I'll look it up one of these days. MC Sir... Sir MC squared? MC... Squared. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. MCA? MC, MCQ? Mm. MCC. Let me ask you this. MC Cameraman. Here's an odd question. If you don't pay a hooker, is that rape or is that stealing, shoplifting? If you don't pay a hooker, wow. Who's she going to tell? I'm, no, I'm saying no, like in Nevada. Like let's say there was a legal escort service in Nevada and you don't pay her. Is that rape or is that shoplifting? Oh shit, that's a good point. I don't know. You never thought about that? I never thought about that. That is fucking weird. Can you imagine? I don't know. What I, I think about that sometimes. It's kind of like, what if you were to intercept a package from the mail that was weed and you found it to be weed? Right. Well, you did that. And Yeah, I did. And, and That was good weed. It was fucking really good, was good Holy weed. shit. But anyway, you can't really get in trouble, can you? I mean, you were stealing. Not unless you admit it on camera. Well, this was 20 years ago. No, so but if you fuck. find it, it's not like you stole it from somebody. Right. There's a box at your door. That's true. You opened it, and there was weed inside. And there was weed inside. And, you just... and it was good from Colorado. <laughs> Back in the day, when Colorado was like the first legal exactly. state, that was crazy good. What was that? Tangerine... Snow Day. Snow Day. Tangerine Snow Day. And Nina Simone. Nina Simone. S something Scepter. 
You heard the dogs in the background? You got pets, right? I got pets. I got two little fucking assholes. You like I love you, like, you love pets, right? I love That's pets. That's funny. I dated a girl once that had a parrot. That stupid motherfucker would never shut the fuck up, dude. Kirsten just saying the stu stupidest shit. She was an asshole. <laughs> fuck you. No, not the parrot. Oh. <laughs> the girl. Not the parrot. The parrot was cool as shit. It was the girl. She wouldn't shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, I had no idea you were this. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Holy shit. <clears throat> so let me ask you this. If you had three wishes, what would you... Holy shit, here we go. And you can't wish for more wishes, obviously. Right, obviously. That's the one rule is you can't wish for more wishes. Right. And on the grand scope of things like world peace and shit like that, you can't... You can wish for whatever you like, dude. Well, I definitely want shit like that. I, I would I, wish I, for world peace. Yes. Okay, what else? And I would wish for all the truths to be uncovered. Everything that's... All the truths to be uncovered. Yeah, things okay. that, that have been kept from us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just finally all That's pretty out. deep. That's fucking deep, dude. Yeah, it is. And what would, what would the other thing? Uh, you know, money. Money? Definitely. That would be the third? That would be probably... Well, how much? We... How much? The genie's asking you how much. First wow. thing, world peace. Poof. Second thing, world truth. Poof. Okay. Third thing. Well, I just want to be comfortable. I'm not going to be greedy, and I'm not going to be like, you know... I, honestly, give me a hundred million and I'm happy. Okay. That's it. All right. That's good. That'll get me through the rest of my life. Can I tell you mine? Sure. I'm much more selfish than you. <laughs> of course. I would want, number one... I would want $755 million. Exactly that. Yeah. Why? Because that's not being greedy. I didn't say a billion. I'm not a billionaire, right? So liberals can't hate me. So I'm good. People love me. Then I would like to get um, Daisy. And I would like Daisy to have <laughs> I would like Daisy to have the ability to speak, to talk in English like a human. Right? And then I would want Daisy to have the third wish. Okay. I wonder what the fuck she would win this show to. Oh my god, shout out to Daisy, man. That'd be a roulette. That would be some roulette wheel, right? Oh buddy? my god, a little Yorkie. A little Yorkie. What would a little Yorkie wish for? I don't know, but she loves me. Little so. bones, more and bones. I gave, a big and giant then, bone. And then I gave her the ability to speak. And I gave her a wish. Oh, holy so shit. I'm like a god. But guard. are they smart enough that they fucking would be... I'll take able that to... shot. I got $755 million. Or it's just going to be a bunch of... <laughs> no, no, no. She could speak, dude. What oh, do you she think dogs... speak? No, I'm not saying she'll be... You'll be able to understand. So what do you think? Okay. Come on, man. She can at least eat and crap outside. So she's right. at least not dumb enough. To... <laughs> Wow. And then, and did she you just did make something. fun of some type of people? Did you just make fun? Hopefully she would wish for immortality for her and I and my wife. And what am I? I, I granted and her everything. You think she's going to remember you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. And my, what if it's infinite wish, like milk bones or something? <laughs> milk bones? I don't stupid. care. I still got $655 million. That's Yeah, my cabinets wish. and good. cabinets of just fucking milk bones everywhere. I'm good. How do we get into an animal segment? I don't this know. Because animals. animals are cute. And they are cute. furry and fuzzy. And so back in the day, we used to have a. Have podcast. you ever gotten an animal high? Yeah, I've not. I've I've blown like on purpose ever. Mm. I'm not gonna say that I haven't had an animal that's eaten a butt or two that's been laying around, dude. Well, <laughs> I, I used to have a dog, Maggie. I think Maggie's gonna have him. That uh, every time I would smoke, she would come sit in between me. She would like hang out right next to me, right? And she would sit there like this. So one time. I hit the joint and I blew it in her face like that. And and she sniffed it in. And then she fed, she coughed and the smoke came out of her nose. You get the hell out and then she went and laid down for a while. Wow. She didn't really move too much. Wow. She was all right though. No, mine was bugging out. It was actually trying to lay down, but going in circles and circles and circles Edibles. and circles and circles. But it was weird. I didn't think that actual weed would let, like, you know. I guess well, you can. Not? Can you get high? With Psychoactive. I guess so. I think now edibles is probably like if you got a noisy dog next door, I might have to call up Chef Swan and throw that bitch an edible or something. Yes. Dog. I don't know. Yo, we should be the first ones to invent fucking edibles for dogs. I think you just invented that. I think 
I just fucking invent invented that. Don't you fucking steal the it's idea It's on camera. Now. How could they steal oh, that? It's on camera. Oh bro. You, in, you invented that. And right it now. calms them the fuck down. Baby edibles too. You gotta figure out how much CBDs for puppies. <laughs> That's what's up. Wait, I took it a step too far. <laughs> that was like baby edibles. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all the same. They have medicine for babies, well, one, right? Once it's fully accepted, I guess, whatever. Don't yeah. they have sleeping, don't they? whatever. It's better to get that, that way from... I, I don't know, man. What do I know? Yeah, but... Edibles for dogs. So I'm sure it reacts differently. They have little baby li little livers, little baby bucket. livers, baby livers. It's possible. So I was saying back in the day, like ten years ago, we used to do a podcast, and we used to play the game called Which Way, which now is on the internet all over. Everybody's calling it's uh, Would You Rather. Would you rather? Yeah. So I we I used to I tried to think up a couple from like we used to do back in the day to see if it could still be if it was still relevant. So let me see what you think, right? All right, so which way, right? Never brush your hair or never brush your teeth? Holy shit. For me, that's you, easy. You, you, my teeth are fucked up, but my hair is even worse, so I have to brush my teeth at least, right? Because I can wear a hat. Never brush my hair. My, I can wake up and I, I, I think I can pull it off, so I'd have to say brush my teeth. Yeah, because your breath too, right? Yeah, exactly. I can't, you can't walk I think around anybody like that. Anybody would say that. And I smoke. That's why my yeah, teeth always fuck like yellow. You gotta brush it. You gotta brush your teeth, bro. And I, and I go, you know, twice a year for cleanings and shit. Oh, I was gonna say you go twice a year in between brushing your teeth. Right? <laughs> in between brushing my teeth. No, actually, I know people like that. <laughs> can't believe it's not butter, man. That's they call it a yuck mouth. Oof. Uh, yuck mouth. It's nasty. I don't know how people could do that. That's that's pretty gross. But yeah, I'd say uh, I'd have to brush my teeth. That would be a good yeah. Fuck my you hair. have to brush your teeth, of course. No, I'm not doing that. You win. You win that challenge. Um, <laughs> would you double your paycheck, or would you get the same paycheck for staying home? Wow. See, this used to be a good game back in the day. We used to have fun with this. Wow. I know for sure I'm so fucking lazy. I would just take my paycheck for staying. But like, not like you you can't get another job. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, is that staying home and doing nothing really makes you unhealthy, man. It truly, you start unless, to feel shitty. Unless you weren't depressed about it and you took it for your job being number one, because I thought about this, being number one, I would make sure that I spent two hours a day exercising as a job because I'm getting a paycheck, right? So I would make sure that I did that. Right. And then I would spend the rest of the days on my hobbies doing this or playing music or whatever. And all right, so you can't have it as a job, but you can make money and whatever money you have, if you reinvest it into the hobby, it's not making money. Right, because you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like you could buy more expensive cameras, more expensive guitars, better lights. You could rent a studio. To do, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things you could do if you were making money at it. Yeah. I right. So, true. so to spend that money to make it better product. So that's what I would do. Or would I get double my money for how long, though? It's, I mean, forever. See, and then I get, a, I get a built-in increase. So would it be? You, like, you make average my last money, four though, so. years. Average my last four years. And then keep my increase going, and that's what I make. I'll do that in a fucking second, bro. Are you kidding me? If I doubled what you made, I take it. If it's just double what I make, I don't think it's worth. I'd, I'd rather. I think I'd rather stay home and just. But the thing is, yeah, I'd have to be very yeah. motivated, and because you get so unmotivated at home, you sit there, you start playing video games, and you fucking. That's you. I would just keep. Writing you just shit get for the fucking pocket. high, literally all day, and and. Yeah. Play guitar. <laughs> write podcast shit and work out. Oh man, cook and nice healthy out. meals, bro. I guess, and especially man. if that paycheck was guaranteed every week with my vacation checks and shit. No, I I, I would go the other. I take two of my checks and still work. Fuck it. Not me. I would take my check and stay home, dog. No, I, that's I gotta stay. I gotta stay for my health because I know me. I'll get lazy, sit there, and want to fucking do nothing at all. I'd have to do it for my fucking. Uh, I hear you. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's you, buddy. That's all good. God bless. I. Those uh, are great, though. These are great. You get that. You um. Got. All right. So this is an easy one. Uh, you know how like YouTube or any other website has like the thumbnail and then it has the post title. Right? I like what's underneath it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But back in the day, it was only post titles, remember? Back when the internet was the right. Wild West, it was only post titles, there were no thumbnails. Right, exactly. Or there was a thumbnail without without no post title. Right. So which way would you rather, which way? Post, post, post title only or thumbnail only? 
Because post title only back in the day, that shit used to suck, dude. Because <coughs> you would have to download shit for a minute before you got to see what it was even. And if it was, there wasn't that many trolls back then. But if there, but if there was a troll now, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, could the, you imagine? The, the problem is that, that everything it, that you see now, it's like on YouTube and everything. Every, when it's a crazy looking thumbnail, it's fake. It's bullshit. It's, it's clickbait. Just, it's clickbait. It's They're clickbait. trying to draw. We never in. ever ever have ever done clickbait at <coughs> one time. Right. Nope. So that's pretty. That's pretty dumb. But which way would you do? Post titles only or click or thumbnail? Because either way, it could be clickbait too. The thing is that clickbait works. It always works. You know what I'm saying? And it's but which like, way do you? But wish that's to your get... fault. That's your fault. But, for all right, but if Nazis shit. had a gun to your head and you had to pick one for the internet, which one would you pick? I, I would still go with the with the fucking with the thumbnails. Because, I would have to go with the thumbnails. Yeah, even though they're all photoshopped and shit. Yeah, it's that's still crazy, right? it's still a funner way to experience. Funner? Funner is that that's more a word. fun? I guess that's yeah, more uh, fun. Funnish? A funnish. A funner. Rah, 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 rah. All right, w would you rather know the month that you're gonna die or know the day and time? Like, if it was, if I told you it was you're gonna die on a Tuesday at 2 30 a.m. or you're gonna die in November, I definitely would have to say. That I want the exact. Time. No, there is no exact. Uh, the time and the day, right. but you don't know. I'm saying, but you don't know what month. Oh, what that, year? Oh, in that case, oh, that, in any event, you, you don't know what year it is. You don't know what November it's going to be. But if they tell you you're definitely going to die in November, in a November, or you're definitely going to die on a Tuesday yeah. at 1:30 a.m. or 2:40 p.m. or whatever. It's it is. A, so November, and still not knowing the year though. No, yeah, right. You don't know what year. Then fuck, man. That's a rough one because every day you'd be driving yourself. Every Tuesday, Tuesday you'd be like, oh man. Exactly. I would just hope it would be like whatever it is going to be like 2.30 in the morning because you normally, no matter what, you're asleep at 2.30 in the morning. That I would want to know the day I, well, and that, the time. Right. Because then because at that time, I would just it, man, I would switch my whole schedule and be like, nah, listen, I can't work any, right. any Tuesday at 2 p.m. Your whole day's not wasted. You know Because I saying? have to be asleep in a Tuesday at 2 p.m. Because if it's just knowing the but month. But that doesn't mean anything because you could be in an accident. And then you could be hanging on in the hospital until Tuesday at 2.30. You know what I'm saying? So but that doesn't really work. But still, whatever. I guess that's true. I'd want to know the day and the time as opposed to the month. I, I, I'm, I am, yeah. Because in November, what I are you going to do? Like hibernate? Exactly. All but, the fucking November. And that brings me to my next one. Would you rather have your regular sleep schedule that we have now of, you know, eight hours a day sleeping? Or would you want to be awake... For like what eight months and be asleep for four for four months straight, fucking but bear awake style. for eight months straight, bear style. What do you think? I am a fan of sleep. I don't like I, like I like my eight hours. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. I don't think that. God, sleeping? Oh, no, man. I don't want to fuck that. I would want to try it first, though, right? I would, I would if keep I, it like I, this, right? Yes. But I want to know what four months of straight sleep wake feels like. Could you imagine the piss you take when you wake up after four <laughs> months of straight sleeping? But I guess your whole body has to be... Like, every cell in your body would have to be rejuvenated three times in four months sleeping. And you'd have to fucking store Because that's what happens so when you sleep, right? You exhale and uh, through the bottom of your feet goes your dead cells and you rejuvenate fresh That's why cells. bears are such fat animals. Before they go to sleep. All right, and then, and then a month before you go to sleep, you get to eat whatever the fuck you want without worrying. Everybody does it. Yeah. That's the way culture works. That's crazy. I would try it. Nah, I, but I can't, I can't do that. I would man. try But imagine how much you could do with your life, how much you could accomplish if you never slept for eight months straight no sleep but okay so if you by, didn't even okay, get tired what, I'm what if by doing this and society is set up that way we all sleep from october to march what what, what if we found october to march think about it the winter okay when nobody even wants to go outside because it's so damn cold that that's cool that's good that's a good that's a good point think about that bro and i completely forgot my point now i'm sorry fuck i did that to you again it's okay. No, but think about it now. But just think about it. I'm saying, if you're gonna sleep for eight months, if you are awake for eight months straight, how much could you accomplish in your life? Right. I just re-asked the question. That's all to let you <laughs> understand, really. What? What? You know, what? Four months of sleep. No. Oh, right? that's what I was. Saying. So, what if we found out if actually by doing that, it's right. a benefit to you and you live longer? You know what I'm saying? And you live. You can live 150 well, that's, years. Yeah, well, then that's that, a no-brainer. That would be the experiment. But you would you want to live for 150 years? 
I guess we because we, don't animals that hibernate live longer? I don't know. I don't know. I get, uh, versus what? That's what? That's like a. Uh, that's like an angular. Hey Google. No, that's, <laughs> they won't know that. No, that's like an ang- No, that's like angular velocity. It doesn't make sense unless there's something you can measure it against. That's true. There would have to be bears that don't hibernate. I guess. I guess we'd have to try it. So you try it. Yeah, not me. <laughs> I would have. Every drink you drank had to be either hot or cold. Hot soda or iced coffee all the time. Which one? Ooh, these are all challenges that we could do. Actually, do twenty-four hour challenges. Twenty-four hours. No, I'm not good. But I would say, because I can, God, put a good, nice, hot coffee, man. There's right? Like, I like. There's I like this. That's this. I'd rather have everything. I'd rather have everything lukewarm if that was the choice. But there isn't one. So it's hot or cold. I guess hot, right? Because you could sip it. Like even soda. Like I don't drink soda anyway. I don't really give a shit. No, but soda water, would be water, so you can disgusting. Drink coffee, tea. It's hot. It's nasty. Soda's it's not hot. good for you anyway. Who the fuck wants to drink soda? That's a good point, but. I mean, but warm water is good for you. Like the Indians have proved that. Not India, Ayurvedic medicines and stuff. Right. Sipping boiling water, just like fresh boiling water, is good for you, right? I like iced coffee, but I take fucking. Uh, Actually, yeah. I I would take a nice cold. I mean, uh, uh, hot coffee over. Yeah, see, coffee. that's me. I would definitely. I drink iced coffee sometimes in the summertime, but not so much. All right. Well, the last one. Your parents catch you effing, or you catch them effing. <laughs> Oh my god! I have caught my parents effing and it was disgusting. No, I'd much rather have my parents catch me. There's no way I would have to kill myself. No, dude! I would oh have to god. kill myself. Wait, wait a second. But if I caught my parents effing, what position I would have to would kill myself. In? Who cares? I don't <laughs> care! <laughs> You could I, saw, I would have to kill people, myself okay. if I saw my parents. But it would have to be like, what if you went both to of my house? parents are dead? If I what saw the fucking pile driving your girl, dude, dude, they, they probably watch me all the time anyway. They're both <laughs> dead. If I saw them fucking, I would have to kill myself because the world would be over. There'd be demons and zombies and shit. I I survived it. I saw it and I survived it. And that's why it you was are not a. I think that's a good why you I was very young. I was like maybe six six years oldish or something like that. Oh my god! And I didn't understand what was going on. But my mom's was getting plowed, so I can't believe you just said that. Fuck out of here. I can't believe you said that. Alright, well I'll say I'm this. Sorry, I never, ever, ever, never ever saw my father hit my mother. Alright? He was very fast. Hit her like what? Like boom boom? Like uh, or like smash hit her? Like hit Like smack her. Oh, like that. But he was very quick. You know, and you can't really teach speed. You know what I mean? But so what are you saying? I'm saying I never saw it. Oh, <laughs> just saying. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying I never saw it. But he was very quick, and you can't really teach speed. So mm, that's true. That's the most important thing that you have to remember about all of this stuff, bro. No doubt. So I don't know what else is gonna happen. So maybe we could bring that back. I don't know. What do you think? It's funny, dude. That they're really things that make you think, and and. You know, choices that are kind of... Well, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And in the comment section, Ralphie was thinking that we might want to listen to some of our old... Yes, yes. Bits. And and do some reactions on our older and videos. Uh, react- not videos, they're all audio bits that we used to have a... Our a, old podcast that old we just podcast, mentioned. Yeah. So maybe if you wanted to hear us do that or watch us do that, we'll play it. Like, we're playing music now, but we could play that. And we could stop it and talk about it. And then if that's something, you know, I think it would, might be funny. And I and I just to preface it all before it happens. Well, we'll do it when we get to that point. But <laughs> holy shit, it was a different time, and it, it, it we're not, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that would now be considered politically incorrect, but it was yeah. like a decade ago, and we thought we were trying to be funny. Exactly. So now we can and listen it, and to it. And it holds up. That the funny thing is that it, as as cringy as it is, it still holds up. I mean, nobody's dropping n bombs. No, it's not. But it's not. Today. It's a matter of, uh, you know, we were just talking shit, and we could listen to it now and even talk about how you can't talk about the can't talk. I mean, that, that's kind of a way to get around it, right? <clears throat> We're I mean, listening we to, to it. We're not saying it. We're just listening to the old us saying it. We used to have a regular bit called It's Not Gay If Is It. If oh, you know, That was so funny. It's Not oh Gay If God. Blank Is It. And Like, you want to give us an no. example? No. <laughs> I said no. No, 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 I not. no, I don't. If you want to listen to the old ones, we could react and cringe ourselves. We could cringe video ourselves. Yes, let's do and that. And we could... Uh, so if you guys are interested, signal ourselves. leave a comment. And tell us that you're interested in seeing that. 
and uh, we'll work on doing that. So hopefully you played along, and now you get to see our, our ideas about which way we do things. And yeah, tell us how what would you would pick? Yeah, what would you out pick? of those? There was what six of them, seven of them. So just yeah. try to let us know which way you would go. What would you rather? That's right. That's what I like. So like, subscribe, comment, share. This has been Headroom. We love you. Um, shout out to you. Shout out to you right there. Peace out.